Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise. Do you ever get tired of making decisions? I do. Every day, decisions line up for my attention. I decide what I'm going to do, how I'll spend my money, and what I'm going to say. Conversely, I make decisions about what I am not going to do, spend, or say. Life is a series of decisions. Where you are today is the result of decisions you have made in the past. Where you will be tomorrow is determined by the choices you make today. In fact, where you will be in eternity is determined by the decisions and choices you make today. Sadly, there is an anti-God and anti-Christian bias in the world. It's easy to be sucked into making wrong decisions if you listen to the world instead of the Word. So, if you are going to make decisions based out of your convictions, you must hide the Word of God in your heart. If you devour the Word of God, you won't be ruled by emotions, feelings, or popular thinking. You'll live by the principles of the Word of God. God is looking for people to make good decisions. He's looking for people who will seek Him in their decisions, making to do His will and not their own. How to make good decisions? Be obedient to the things you know and understand. As you are obedient in the daily, mundane, mediocre things in life, God will reward and expand you. If you want to know God's will for your life, read the Word. Pray fast. Witness to what you already know. Another point is, go to God's instruction manual, the Bible. Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. God's Word gives advice on everything that you may encounter. Learn from the lives of others. You don't have to learn everything by personal experience. Look around and learn from other successes and failures. Learn from your own mistakes. Evaluate your failures. Determine what you did wrong and how you could do it differently next time. Don't be discouraged with failure or punishment. Turn it into a lesson for future success. Make your decisions before you are in the heat of the battle. Just like practicing fire drills at school, have a plan for your actions. Before you are confronted with compromising situations, determine what you are going to do, then stick to your plan. Never make a big decision when you are under pressure. Quick decisions don't usually hold up. Resolve to think through all major decisions. Give yourself time to calm down. Think through and be confident in your choice. Consider the effects you, your decisions will have on others. It may be your life, but all decisions you make have a ripple effect on those around you. Take time to think about them and the impact your decisions will have on their lives. Ask God for wisdom. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously and unredundantly it will be given you. God's help is there for the asking. Ask for the mind of Christ. Let the same mind be in your that was in Christ Jesus. What he processed in his mind in making his daily decisions, you can do likewise in, in your mind with your decisions. Tap into what Christ offers you. Seek godly counsel, for with wise guidance you can wage your war, and in abundance of counselors there is victory. Just make sure the advice comes from people who, by their lives, demonstrate a reliance on God and seek to do His will. Well. Stay with us and let's look at the following poem. Final Decision Day by day, the time slides by, and we all have decisions to make. Life's road is far from perfect. Decisions may bring heartache. 
However young or old we may be, our world is never free from the toils and woes of progress as right from wrong we try and see. How do we find the right answers to all the questions we raise? It may not sound so simple as we try to shift our gaze. When we start leaving self behind and call upon our Father above, soon we will begin to understand what Christians call real love. He has all the right answers as we get to know Him day by day, and our decisions will be easier as He leads through miry clay. How sweet will be the morning when we finally understand God is our gracious Master who holds us in His loving hand. And as the day slips slowly by and the years roll steadily away, our decisions will be ever better because we took the time to pray. When we give it all to the Lord, we are finally set free. We've made our final decision. Now we can live peacefully. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for caring about every detail of my life. I know you have placed goals and dreams in my heart that will take diligence to carry out. Help me to look to you when faced with a decision. And I pray for your wisdom as I make the right choice. In Jesus' name, Amen.